All points bulletin. Looking for Tuli Tuli. We're on a search for Tuli Tuli. Oh, there she is. Tuli Tuli, we are all getting worried. Tuli Tuli is in the house, and so is Mrs. T. Hello, hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. And now you all know what she looks like. And <laughs> oh boy, what a video today. We had a fun time making that one, my buddy and I. And uh, so we have got a fun night for you guys here tonight as well. And we looks like an all-star crew showing up here. We've got TJF and Scott Silver, Central Michigan, Rick K, and who else? Fasikas is in the house, Knox, and everybody's showing up. And as everybody gathers up, how's everybody doing? We got Vincent here. Tuli Tuli, you doing okay? I, we were getting a little bit worried about you. Uh, the uh, folks in the chat were starting to get nervous. And uh, we're glad you are here. Hard Chronics in the house. Proud American, 1776. And we've got a good auction in store for you. Quite the variety. Lots of vintage, some cool new stuff, a couple of silver pours. And let's see. Asan Hook says, let's go. Eric Grimes, Bergon. And people are showing up on this Saturday night. And welcome, 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 everybody. Uh, for the benefit of the people who are new here, let's go through the uh, auction instructions. There we go. Let me tilt down just a little bit. And I, I'm sorry if you heard this uh, 52 times already. This will be time number 53. Uh, but in case you're wondering, you don't need to be a member. And that seems like just about every week we get a new person or two. Didn't, Mrs. T, didn't we get like three people last week that are new? Yes. So we're glad mm -hmm. to have new folks around here. Uh, shipping is $5. And my little box is too far away on the table to even reach. But you guys have all seen that. But it's free if you're a channel, channel member at levels two, three, or four. And now would be a great time to pull out a notepad and a pencil to keep track of what you purchase uh, because we would really love it if you would pay promptly after the auction this evening. So whenever we're done, if we're done at in an hour and two hours and three hours, whenever we're done or whenever you have to leave, just settle up on your way out the door and let the moderators moderate. And uh, Tuli Tuli's in the house. She's the best. Central Michigan's here. He is awesome. And uh, we're glad you're all here as well. Uh, be courteous, no bad language. We uh, we like to keep a family-friendly uh, channel, uh, unless Sherry's on, of course, <laughs> and then we give a little bit of leeway. Uh, but bid increments uh, can be found right over here. And uh, look, Mrs. C, we have over 30 people showing up. Bid increments are right here. Anything under $100 is a $1 bid increment. Uh, that's the minimum bid increment. You could bid three or five or seven, whatever you want. Sometimes people like to put the hammer down by putting an un unorthodox bid in, maybe like a nine or ten dollar bid. But once we hit the hundred dollar mark, just to speed things up, uh, anything above that is a five dollar minimum bid increment. So if you bid three dollars higher than your opponent, uh, you're you're not in the lead. That'll be uh, negated. It'll go by a five dollar bid increment. And uh, let's see, I need your address for shipping. Uh, and whenever you guys win an auction, uh, if you have gauze stuff accumulated, we'll send it all at once. And then finally, thank you for your support. Mrs. T and I have been doing this for over a year along with Tuli Tuli. Let's hear it for Tuli Tuli one more time. And we have a fun time here on the old channel once a week. Uh, we also do uh, whatnot auctions as well, but we'll talk about those later. For now, let's start out with a buck and go, and we're going to show kind of the old-fashioned way of doing things. Maybe we'll throw in the old uh, clock there for the timer <laughs> clock. We'll see. Rick K is like, why did you allow him to bring it in? What? Oh, the timer. <laughs> We'll oh, see that one. Like, get, he likes it. That one kind of <laughs> got mixed reviews last week. Some people say, uh, you know, T, let's just do it the old-fashioned way. But then people yeah. complain that I count down too slow, <laughs> and that you can't argue with uh, the old and tonky uh, little Chinese clock there. It tells the time better than Mr. T can. That's for sure. <laughs> and uh, let's do things the old-fashioned way. Uh, let's start with a buck and go. I don't know. Let's. What the heck? Let's start with an angel. 
Look at this beautiful little angel, an ounce of silver for your consideration. And a buck and go, my friends. Buck and go. I'll just kind of hold it here. And while you guys bid, we've got uh, Sick Thinker Ricky. <laughs> there you go. And this is actually a coin. I uh, really like the reverse here uh, with the queen with that little uh, checkered, almost like a Greek design on the back. But it's one ounce of silver, 2021. This is the pretty side, guys. This is the pretty side. Look at that angel. Fasikas is at 27. And let me put this down so I could kind of uh, take a look at the chat here and pay attention to that. Let's Kevin see. said it's Thule on the queen. Uh, it, Thule? Uh -huh. Maybe it is Thule. I don't know. I don't know what she does in her private life, uh, Mrs. T. Yeah. You know, uh, YouTube moderator by night. Who knows what she does by day? Uh, model for coins, possibly. I don't know, Kevin. I'm, I'm glad. Is that Kevin Hunt you're talking about? Uh -huh. Oh, uh, Kevin, I got a piece for you, my friend. All right, let me go over here. Well, everybody can clearly see that coin. Uh, Thule is prompting me by saying Lisa at 29. Mm -hmm. And uh, TJF is asking for a Thule Thule face reveal. I don't know. Uh, you know, you never know. I did mine uh, today was the first intentional face review, reveal. Uh, and um, you got to see... Uh, Mrs. T was the more pleasant face, and mm -hmm. then me at the very end. Want to see uh, can you flip it? Sure. It's got Queenie on the other side. There she mm -hmm. is. And it's a St. Hel Helena, uh, one ounce silver, 999. I guess it's uh, an actual coin, not just a round. And I'm going one time, two times, and sold, sold, sold. And it looks like, oh man, I think that little distraction caused Eric Grimes to sneak in there at $30. Man, first snipe of the night. Woo -wee. All right, Eric, nice steal there. And Mrs. C, we're on the board right now. Uh, let's go uh, Central Michigan. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see, Kevin, the coin hunt. I got. I think I'll wait a little while. I'm going to wait for my bidders to get a little bit warmed up before I uh, show Kevin this piece. Maybe there'll be a little competition. I don't know. I hope he gets it, though. Uh, take a look at this. Uh, there's a griffin right there. And Tuli Tuli, and anybody who was on my Whatnot stream this last week on Wednesday uh, knows uh, the story about this one. Tuli Tuli, do you remember? You want to tell them uh, who minted this? Uh, ooh, my full stack video hit 2,000 views. Nice. I'll check it out. I've been meaning to do my full Libertad stack, and maybe this is the week. But anyway, uh, this one was made by Stacks and Bowers. That's an auction company. Uh, it was uh, in, I, I want to say like 2021, oh, 2022, during the so-called silver shortage, uh, they minted this, just uh, basically put their name out there and get some publicity and uh, unload some silver, but really as an advertising ploy, and it's cool. It's not every day you see a cool, funky-looking coin like that. Let's do Buck and Go, wherever you guys want to start. Buck and Go on the Stacks and Bowers collectible Griffin. You've got the eagle's wing. You've got the eagle's uh, beak there and the bottom half of a lion. Speaking of cats, where's Tiger? Is he here tonight? And you got the eagle's talons. Mm -hmm. Kind of an, a middle, medieval look or something yeah kind of like that one a little different mm -hmm. and it's an interesting ounce of silver i can tell you that and we're looking at uh tjf at 17 dollars whoa all right guys uh might be a short night Ooh, central michigan's at 20 bumping it up a little bit maybe we'll do the clock after this mrs t i don't know <laughs> we'll see uh, -huh. uh let's see central time. at 20 dollars Ouch. Uh, guys, now's the time to bid because I'm going two times. Central might get a bargain of the year here. Ooh, and uh, we, we might be uh, two and through, Mrs. T. Two oh. and through if we're selling. Uh, oh, there's Tiger. I was just uh, talking about you, Tiger. Welcome, my friend. Pasikas is here. Central Mich Michigan's at 27. And, uh, ooh, Central Michigan. 
I'm we're probably going to be at a coin show not far uh, from uh, the Michigan state line in South Bend. It's called the Michiana coin show tomorrow. And so I, from, my, from what I gather, um, a lot of people from Michigan come down. And because uh, for those of you who don't know, South Bend, home of Notre Dame, is just right on the Indiana-Michigan state line, practically, on the Indiana side. I'm just going one time to Fasicas. Then I'm going to go two times. Uh, oh, Ke- and, oh, Kevin yep, yeah, is from South Bend. So, uh, Kevin... Uh, do you have a good idea of what kind of showing uh, they expect over there? Uh, I uh, texted the guy who's running it, uh, and I'm waiting for a reply. I just texted him a little while ago, but now I'm too busy to check. I'm mm-hmm. going Central Michigan one time, and then I'm going to go Central Michigan two times. And, yeah, Kevin, is that normally a pretty a well-attended coin show? Do you happen to know? Uh Oh, yeah, uh, from Casper's. Tigers at 36. Tigers mm-hmm. at 36. Going one time. Uh, shall I uh, pull out the clock, uh, Mrs. C? Not on, not on this one. No, not on this one. No, I wouldn't okay. do that to somebody. That would be kind of rude to pull out yeah. the old clock uh, this late in the game. But going yeah. once, going twice, sniper time, and... Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations. And, oh, Central Michigan was just behind, just behind, a millisecond behind Tiger at 36. Uh, Kevin says, it's all right. Would uh, cooler with me there. Is that going? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he will now that he hears we're going to be there. We can hang out, have lunch. Uh, And, Kevin, I hope to see you. Uh, This week, my friend, I'll text you a little bit later about a time. Uh, Speaking of Kevin, he's a guy that I know likes his cats. Take a look at this, guys. Interesting silver with a kitty cat on it. Take a look at that. Now, I've been trying to figure this one out. At first, I thought it was a panther. But then I looked a little closer, and it appeared to have spots on it. So perhaps a leopard or a jaguar. But here's the coolest thing, way down in the bottom, in the bushes, way down in the bushes over here, it says 1980. So you got such a cool factor here. You got cool old vintage silver that's 44 years old. It's got a kitty cat on the front. Let's see what's on the reverse. Dang, screaming eagle. I mean, this is about as good as it gets, my friend. Uh, let's start off. Well, what the heck? Buck and go. Buck and go on the kitty cat silver. Buck and go on the kitty cat silver. I wonder if Tiger needs this one for the jungle. This is not one that you see every day of the week. So uh, that cat's looking strong there. P. Clark is at 20 starting us off. As I take another sip of my Java my coffee to get me a little uh, caffeine going so I can last uh, on this auction for two or three or 10 hours. I don't know how long you want to go, Mrs. T. <laughs> no. Tuli Tuli. No. Uh, hey, we have over 50 people here. Uh, let's see. I almost said Busha. That's uh, B- Busolia. Busolja. Mm-hmm. Busolja at 29. Uh, no, you don't melt that vintage, especially if it's a kitty cat that would look good in the jungle. Twiddle Twaddle is at 35, and we've got a little battle going on for the vintage silver. Look at that. And like I said, I mean, the, the eagle on this side is no slouch either. I mean, that would be pretty cool on the American Silver Eagle. I don't. I guess I don't have to worry about these mirror coins too much anymore, Mrs. T, after showing my mug on the camera. Here we go. Going one time, the Twiddle Twaddle. Tiger has got steam coming out of his nose. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> Very nice. I love it. Going uh, two times. And I, does that mean Tiger is like determined to win this one? Or like he's mad? I don't know. Going once to twiddle twiddle. Look, Tiger jumps in at 36. He's in the lead. Twiddle t- twiddle responds quickly. And we've got a little battle going on. Twiddle twaddle in the battle with Tiger. Say that three times fast, Mrs. T. Oh, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no. Twiddle twaddle in the battle. 
Man, that's that's skill right there, Mrs. That T. Is skill. Yeah, right. <laughs> going once. Who's in the lead? Any? Was that Twiddle? Going yeah. once. Going twice. And uh I saw, twiddle, I saw another bid come in. Uh at 41. The backup bid was not necessary. It appears that you got it at 38. 38, Mrs. T. Yep. 38 on the twiddle twiddle. In the battle. In the battle mm -hmm. for the leopard. All right. Thank you, Central, for confirming. Nice one. Uh, let's see. You guys like vintage? Hmm. We'll bounce around. We've got all kinds of stuff tonight. I don't have a lot of these, but these did right you, here. Did you not do this? What's that? Right here. Your. What? Oh, gosh. No, we didn't, Mrs. T. I totally forgot. You guys all forgot to remind me. My norm is to start with a giveaway. Thanks, Mrs. T. How do you like that? Mrs. Yeah, Cease to the rescue. Yeah. yeah, I know. I was all shook up about getting started and rushing and everything like that. You know, it's always like one of those last minute things. Um, all right. Here's gone number one. Here's the reminder. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button and hit the uh, bell notification. That's very important. That way you have a heads up whenever I do a new video. And I've been trying my best to concentrate on quality as opposed to quantity. And so when you know that bell rings, it's going to be a good video. Here we go. Oh, speaking of a good video today, I hope you enjoyed today's. And today's video, what's my friend's name? Uh, he was so gracious and such a great sport. We walked into the coin shop uh, and he wasn't even going to go in to begin with. Mm -hmm. Then he went in and I said, hey, man, you want to be in the video? And he said, OK, uh, why not? And he wasn't shy. And the dude, he's just a natural. My buddy's name is Joe. And uh, let's see. Let's see who the first person to get Joe. And let's see. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, let's see. I have uh, Ga, Woot, Tuli, Tuli, <laughs> Joe. Knox Stack says Joe. Yeah. Rick K says Joe. Kevin says Kevin. He's a friend too, but it wasn't Kevin. Newt says Joe. Is that three? Yeah. Three. And then Central Michigan says Joe as well. So, all right, Joe, don't you know? Tuli tried to tell you. Oh, okay. I got, yeah. you know what? Mrs. C, be, between the three of us, we make a great team. Between me yapping, you keeping track of the records, Tuli Tuli uh, keeping track of the chat, yeah. uh, we make a really good team. Thanks, so, thank, so you. thank you very much, Tuli Tuli. Winners. Yep, congrats. And I was about to show you this one right here. You know these A marks, uh, you see uh, 85 and 80, uh, 84, but not so much the 89s. I probably should have held this one for later uh, because I do have some of those other years. Uh, this is an interesting one because if you're collecting those, uh, you need this year. And here it is for your consideration. 1989 A mark, the bucking goes doing well, so let's just keep with it. Buck and go on the 18, 1981, not 1889, uh, 1989. Mrs. T, you and I were still in high school at the time in the 80s. And there it is. A mark. It's in good shape, too. Yeah. On uh, one of those beautiful rounds. If you want to see this side, you got the Liberty Bell, A mark silver. Later on, eventually, I believe they stopped taking the date or stopped adding the date. Uh, but... There you go. Let me uh, scroll down just so I can see if anybody's bidding. I would hope so uh, for Buck and Go. <laughs> Cranky's caught me on that one. I said mm -hmm. 18A's. Uh, TJ is a $20 from what I'm seeing. Ooh, $20. I would have kept it for $20, but we'll see. Maybe it'll get bid up. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say going one time. If this, oh, Twiddle Twiddle's a 22 below. Spot price, Eric's at 25. All right, they're starting to wake up now, Mrs. T. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Some of you might have seen my video with, with Andy from ARI Coins. Mm -hmm. He gave me this. From afar, it looks like I was carrying around a bag of something illegal. Uh, but what this is, 
is Fed Threads. Uh, Mrs. T, let's give this away at the end of the night. Uh, you mentioned something about uh, me giving this away to one of my viewers. Yeah, he did. And um, he also said if whoever wins it can find uh, like a $1,000 bill or $10,000 bill strip, there would be some sort of major reward for <laughs> that. So well, let's put that out to the and side. That's and all of it. Yeah, you'd have to search through it. It might take you until the year 2027, <laughs> but uh, it'd be a fun hobby for somebody. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> oh, so goodness. we'll give that away at the end, Mrs. T. Okay. All right, we're, I don't even know where we're at. Going one time to whoever's in the lead. Uh, uh, Tuli Tuli says, count me in. Going two times, you know, some people do crossword puzzles and Sudokus. You could uh, search little strips of uh, oh, these are tiny, up. though. I'll tell you what, I sure would like to find a little strip that has a thousand, uh, the number I think on your it. your eyes would hurt. Or claim go, that reward. Go blind. Uh, Eric is at 33. Oh, my gosh. Well, I don't know. You know, put on a magnifying glass or something like that. Uh, yeah, better than a puzzle. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother does jigsaw puzzles. I think I'd rather look at uh, money than jigsaw puzzle pieces. Uh, going once, mm -hmm. going twice, and soul, soul, soul. Oh, RH. RH does it again. And oh, man. Sniper room for RH. All righty. I'll tell you what. Uh, who got sniped? Uh, Eric got sniped. Our, Eric, I'll give you another chance. Here's an 86. And RH knows about these, so that's uh, he likes these Liberty Silvers from Amark. Uh, so we'll do the 86 now, different year, put the whole collection together and buck and go. Why not? And let's see. So uh, I'll tell you what, let's do a vote. We'll try it out, Mrs. T. I don't know. I might, I now before we vote, just remember. This is not exactly a democracy. I, I'll still retain my veto power, but I just want to kind of gauge the crowd uh, in it's yes or no to the timer clock. Yes or no. Just put it in the chat. Yes or no to the timer clock. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Twiddle Twaddle is at 33. I don't see any votes coming in. Yes or no to the timer clock. And uh, Eric says no, Lisa, Nick, Central Michigan says yes, uh, Phil in the blank, James Hindo, uh, Rick K says hell yes. Uh, <laughs> he, man, he's really into that timer clock. All right. Uh, and Fasika says yes, because you take too long. long. That's what I was thinking, Fasika. So I yap too long, I get distracted and everything else, and I'm easily distracted. Bergon says, picks a third option, do both. All right, and I'm going two times. Because going once. Because it becomes a fire sale. Yeah, basically it's uh, going once, going twice, and see, I get distracted. And sold, sold, sold. And when I get distracted, RH comes through. Oh my gosh. It's almost like the guy's in the room with us watching my finger right above the enter button. Dang, RH did it again. All righty. All right, well, I can see you guys like vintage. And so here you go. Englehart, the number one name in vintage silver. I got this one specifically because it is the frosted back variety. Maybe I should, you know what? Let me warm up the crowd up with this one right here. Then we'll come back to the frosted. This is the normal variety. This just for the point of reference, normally in a coin shop, this is like a $40 bar. And actually these are the only two I have tonight. Uh, the, we'll do this one first, buck and go, no clock on the Englehard silver bar. And this is serialized with the FH, FH. So buck and go. <laughs> yep, RH uh, it might be going for the hat trick tonight, guys. That's when you get three goals in hockey, Mrs. T. Mm. You didn't know that? And after you get three goals, eventually, don't they start to don't... Uh, when do they throw out uh, like squid from us? Uh, they throw squid onto the ice. I don't know. Maybe uh, some of these Michiganders might know. We're not 
We're not hockey folk around here. <laughs> All right. Uh, Basoja. Basoja. B Soldier is at 34. And uh, Tuli Tuli knows about those hat tricks. She is a hockey fan from. Yep, that's the Red Wings. Oh, okay. Uh, Hard Chronic, Newt. Yep, you guys know this is uh, definitely a $40 bar all day long in most coin shops, coin shows. $40 bar. Got a little battle going here. I'll spur it along by saying going one time. Hard Chronic was the first to 35. He's in the lead. Uh, Newt and whoever else, the soldier, you have to be at 36, which is where B Soldier is. Chicago Blackhawks is by you, right, T? Yeah, the Blackhawks, but man, do they stink. And we've been to a couple of games. Uh, it's really, really expensive. Um, you know, we kind of stick to baseball uh, and uh, football. Uh, the Bears are my team, and so I go to about four or five games a year. And But uh, anyway, the soldier, be soldier, going one time. Ooh, that's a good price, too. I wouldn't be surprised if RH goes for that hat trick. B Soldier, 36, going two times. Tuli Tuli has a blast up there at those hockey games, though. <laughs> and yeah. going once, yeah, fun. going to, oh, yeah, when the time to we went, we had a blast. We just had to take out a second mortgage in order to do it. And sold, sold, sold. Oh, my goodness. He did go for the hat trick, and he got it under $40 on a nice piece there. Oh, my gosh. All right. Sorry, B. Soldier. You're in with a professional, my friend. An absolute professional. And he did. So what are we supposed to do when a guy gets a hat trick? I don't have any hats in here. Let's see. Oh, here. Here we go. This one is for uh, R.H. The hat trick right here, the old sombrero. Uh, we'll pull it out in honor of R.H. Congratulations, R.H. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Inglehard. Uh, and this one is the frosted back design. Take a look at that. Uh, this is way more rare, way more rare, significantly more rare uh, than the uh, one I just did. Mm -hmm. Let's see if the price reflects that uh, because these are typically in the $50 range when you go to coin shops. All right, buck and go. And no clock. Let's go. Somebody prevent RH from getting four in a row. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. Well, I wouldn't put it past him. Uh, Newt's at 35 to start off. A good solid bid to start. Uh, aren't those good for melting? You'd have to ask Tiger about that. He's he, driving. He's driving, yeah. yeah. And we're trying to keep Tiger on the road. We don't want to get him all riled up. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he has uh, Tiger Paw tires on his car. Uh, Newt is at 40. Phil in the blank is at 41. On um, the beautiful frosted back Englehard. Uh, you know, for every 20 of those other variety, I see one of these. And not easy to come by all right we're looking at phil at 41 41 to phil going one time <laughs> let's see tiger would say yes aha uh -huh, there he is tiger all right you might have to pull over to rest stop in a little while tiger because we've got some good stuff coming up all right going two times all right and going once Going, oh, Newt's at 42. He's trying to be the new RH. RH is, no. the original RH is sneaking around. Well, we're going to have to restart the countdown. Uh, see, and that's, if we had the clock, the clock, it would just be over, and that's that. Uh, but um, these soldiers at 44, we got a little battle going on. Yeah, the clock is sudden death. Uh, and when it's over, it's over, boom, it's over. Mm -hmm. uh, and this way, we just keep restarting. But this is kind of the same way that, what not works, yeah. what not, when you, when another yeah. bid comes in, they mm -hmm. add another 10 seconds to the clock and they do that over and over until 10 seconds elapses without a final bid or without a, one more bid. Uh, we're looking at B Soldier at 44 going two times. 
Oh, I have a the feeling. The difference this... is that you don't get everything in in 10 seconds. Yeah. Whatever you want to say. Uh, Newt's at 45 and bumps it up. And we're going to go one time. Uh, Twiddle Twaddle's at 47. Tiger was trying to snipe as well. Caught these suckers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Newt was the first to bump it up. So here we go. Matthews. Here you, Matthew. Cross life. We're going two times on the old frosted back, which is a real gem here. Going once, going twice. Thule is at 50. Truly, I tell you, Thule is at 50. Uh, <laughs> T starts talking, time stops working. Yeah, exactly. But that little Chinese clock I have just it has no mercy whatsoever. When it hits zeros, it hits zeros, and that's it. Uh, Thule is at 50 going two times. And going once going twice and stay away rh sold 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 oh he tried but he was just behind <laughs> oh truly truly out rh rh and <laughs> it held up congratulations truly nice piece there that's the only one of the night like that all right since truly truly mm -hmm. is and she, she stopped the RH streak. How do you like that? Uh, since Tuli Tuli is in the mood to bid, might as well show this nice piece right here. Look at this, my friends. Just in time for Easter. You've got St. Michael taking down Satan with a spear made out of a cross. Man, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't get any more badass than that. Look at that. And this is one of those stackers. It's already in a capsule. In case you're wondering how much silver, I, it's a half an ounce, but this is the type of thing. There you go. AG999. This is the type of thing you buy, uh, not so much for the silver content, but for the artistic value. And yeah, gangster indeed. Badass. St. Michael putting that spear right in the devil's back. Ooh. And uh, like a boss, and but that's not your poor. No, 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 no. No, no. no, yeah. no know, I've done another Saint Michael, but not a But and it was quite a bit bigger, and uh, I, I have to admit the detail wasn't as fine as this. This is absolute impeccable detail, uh, better detail than any silver par poor artist that I know could do. Uh, so anyway, Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Michael protect us. Buck and go. Yes, Pete Clark on a half ouncer. Beautiful, beautiful motif there. And buck and go. Uh, man, put that in some kid's Easter egg. Either they'll really love it or they'll be scared of it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you well, do look it? at him. He's taking down the devil like that. I mean, huh? The details on the okay, devil's but... face. He's in agony. Because St. Michael's why, on his back, ready to put a spear right in his back. Why in, in an egg and a kid? Well, because like, it's Easter's coming up, yeah. Mrs. T, you remember? And, you know, people do Easter egg hunts and stuff like that. Thule's at 40. Thule is at 40. Yep, half ounce, half ounce. Not a full ounce there. And let's see. Here we go. Let's see who takes it down. Going one time to Tuli Tuli. Going two times to Tuli Tuli. Going once. Going twice. T, do you use your phone for these videos? Uh, no, I use uh, a, a camera, an external camera called Brio. Going once, going twice, and. So, so, so. Truly, truly, you got a gorgeous piece there, all wrapped up in the plastic already. Mm -hmm. And there you go. And while we're on that theme, this piece is pretty badass too. Look at this guy. I'd like to see him in an Easter egg too. Another half ounce here, another little stacker. And there you go. I believe, look, you could even take it out of there if you want, but who would want to do that? I believe this is a South Korean. Um, so let me get the, I don't know what to call this. The smiley guy looks like a smiling dragon right in your face and, uh, buck and go on that one, buck and go on the badass South Korean piece, uh, half ounce stacker. 
me pull out just a little bit. There we go. Uh, Eric's at 23. And yeah, it's a, it's a cool piece. It's, uh, let me show you. There you go. It's got that interesting design. They, they made these with the capsules that just fit perfect. And so in theory, it's a stacker, but who would, I guess you could stack the capsules on top of one another. Uh, shield, what do you call that? Uh, the Gobby shield, okay. Uh, all right, let's see what happened to my light, Mrs. T, it got real super bright. Uh, you know what, you wanna turn that one off? Let's see if that helps a little bit. Okay. And James is at 35. It's looking a little washed out. Let's see if that'll help. Does Is that, that help at all? I don't know. We'll let the... No, maybe. I don't know. It looks the same to me. Looks the same? All right. Maybe it's just... I don't know. It's looking kind of weird right now. All right. Uh, where are we at? James at 35. Going one time. James at 35. Going two times. And cool piece, James. Good luck. Going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. James, you got yourself a cool piece there. All right. All righty. Let's go to. Are you going? Oh to... yeah. All right. Let's do one more, then we'll do okay. a go, Mrs. T. Oh, okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Let's do an easy one. You got the elefante. You got the African elephant. Why does everything look blue? What the heck happened? A Somali Republic. This one's got a couple of leopards on either side of a shield. 100 shillings. And let me put that guy there. And it looks like we're underwater, Mrs. T. Yeah, it does. Like you went in the yeah, ocean. <laughs> there we go. Let me mess around with this thing a little bit. There we go. Okay. Getting better here. Buck and go. You guys... Go ahead and start bidding while I'm messing around with my camera system here. Central Michigan asked me what camera I use, and then he put a voodoo spell on it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Here we go. Big. Knox is at 26. And, uh, man. I, I gotta, All of a sudden, it went blue. I got to get these long underwear off. I'm getting hot under these lights over here. Oh, my God. It was cold over here, and my daughter's car conked out. And I had to uh, tow it uh, and climb underneath it and hook up a tow cable and do all kinds of dad stuff today. I was talking to my buddy Sam about it. And uh, yeah, now here we are. Uh, dad, uh, dad to the rescue once again. What kind is it? What kind is it? It is a little Hyundai. No, no, I think. A little one. Hyundai Tiburon. All right, new no, to 28. The coin. Oh, the coin? It's on the chat. All right, here we go. Uh, it's a <laughs> Somali Republic, 100 shillings, Mrs. T. Why would I ask you what kind of car is it? Well, I you know. said somebody asked oh, me. My All right, so anyway, it's either the starter or the alternator, I believe. New to 28 going one time. And oh, the camera? Oh. He's not asking about the coin. He's asking about the camera. Let's see. It's a little, off. Oh, where's that little? Uh, I don't know. I lost a little box. It's a Brio. Brio of something. I got rid of that El Gato. That El Gato was oh, terrible. Yeah. Remember the El Gato? Yeah. We started out with the cat. And the cat <laughs> needed to be scalped because it was no good. No bueno. All right. Here we go. Going once. Going twice. And... Sold, sold, sold. It looks like the soldier did some sniping of his own. He was on the receiving end and now the giving end of the old sniper roof. All right, here we go. Uh, let's get, speaking of giveaways, let's give away four more little grams of silver with Mrs. T's little markings on there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner for somebody or four of you. Oh, here's a good one. I might even have asked this question already one time. Let's see uh, how fast you guys are. Uh, I have a feeling we might have some uh, gun guys here. And what manufacturer 
May the 1st, 1911 model, famous, the famous uh, manufacturer. And that has been, they, when I read about it on the internet, it said that it is the single most copied firearm on the planet. And if you didn't know, now you know, Colt, Colt, Colt made it famous, the 1911 model. Um, and the answer I was looking for was Colt. Did you do your um, commercial? Oh, I forgot the commercial. Oh, thank, you know, after the fact, join my Remind group. All you have to do is text this number, 81010, this message, at AGH3AB, and you'll get a text about, oh, an hour or a half hour before the next auction. So, <clears throat> Let's see, Celtic, what's Kevin talking about? <laughs> so anyway, if you wanna join the Remind, uh, be sure to do so. Uh, and I think, Lisa, I think you're already on there, if I remember correctly. But let's go back up and look at who said the answer, Colt, which is what I was looking for. Let's see, where, scroll, 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 scrolling down. Oh, here it is. Uh, let's see, R.H., Knox, those two, uh, Eric Grimes, and Indiana in person. Yes. Indiana in person. All right, there we go. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. All right. Well, if you like guns and you like silver, doesn't get any better than this, my friends. This is... My newest silver pour. My newest silver pour for your consideration. Let me put the light there. There you go. It's a nice little piece. In case you're wondering how much silver, uh, we're looking at 1.6 ounces. 999 fine silver. There's my little stamp there. And here is the important stamp. P01. That's prototype one. This is the first one to come out of the furnace. And there you go. It's a nice little piece. Nice little piece for your consideration. And we'll say, um, let's see, will it, will it, oh yeah, there you go, right there. You got a nice little balance there. I'll tilt down a little bit and maybe zoom in a little bit. Uh, buck and go on the first one out of the old furnace, buck and go on the prototype. And I know some of you enjoy collecting those prototypes and let's, so let's see what happens. It's 1.6 ounces, but it's also representing a cool factor and a lot of hard work. And when I uh, sh put out this uh, a little short showing, short video showing me make this, a lot of people said they liked it. Huh, let's see, are you nice to him? Kevin the Coin Hunt, what is that? Uh, Thule's at 90, Thule goes for those prototypes. She has a nice little prototype collection going. Mm -hmm. And we'll see. Let's see. Uh, are they talking about me? Well, they can't say I'm bald anymore. No. I didn't even have a ball cap on when, and I'm going to go one time, when I did that big face reveal. Might have been a wig. You never know. <laughs> Got to keep the sun off my dome. <laughs> Uh, and Tuli Tuli at ninety dollars. Thank you for that good strong bid. But No IQ jumps in at a hundred right before I hit the sold, and No IQ is in the lead. The next bid would need to be, and it is one hundred and five. Uh, hey, thanks, uh, hey son Hook, uh, Mr. Hook or Miss Hook. Uh, thank you very much. Mrs. PPP is here. Oh, hey, look at what pistol packing pilot needs right here. Oh, my buddy PPP did a nice, nice video today uh, on whether or not you should carry your uh, piece mm -hmm. chambered with a uh, live round in the chamber. And he gave a pretty convincing argument and I am with him. So Mrs. PPP, if he's on a plane somewhere, mm -hmm. I'll let him know I agree with my man PPP. Tuli Tuli is at 110. And Tuli Tuli says yes as well. Uh, Mrs. T just got a new grip put on her pistol. And uh, 
you know what? We need to go shooting this week. Yeah. I just thought of that. Yeah. We need to go shooting to try it out. And so we've got a little bit more of a, like a um, shock absorber. Uh, maybe uh, she could, uh, a little better grip, but either way. And by the way, of course, you might have guessed it. It's purple. <laughs> she got a purple grip put on. Going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. And it looks like Tuli Tuli has another prototype from the old collection. There you go. Very nice piece. I think you'll like it, Tuli Tuli. And let's see. Huh. Let's see. Tell you what. Let me ask you this. Should I throw out number two? See if you guys like this one. And these will be both of the silver pours in one night. One again, 1 1.6 ounces, 999. This is number two. And uh, what the heck? Let's just do it, Mrs. Mrs. T. We'll throw it okay. out there. Sounds and good. buck and go on the 1911 model. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mrs. Mm -hmm. PPP is picky about her grip. And um, her firearm is purple. And Mrs. T's is black, but with a purple grip. Mm -hmm. And Knox Dax is at 35. Pete's at 50 on the nice little custom pour piece. Uh, I've only made three of these. Uh, the number three is for yours truly, uh, but here's your chance to get one and two. Not sure when I'll make more of these. And I, the reason I say that is because Mrs. T and I have some pretty cool projects coming up with this in the area of silver pours uh, that you guys will really, um, I think, enjoy. But right now we're looking at Pete at 50. And oh, that's bargain price, Pete. If you get it at that, they are letting you get away with a steal because it's 1.6 ounces of silver. I mean, it's like, mm -hmm. let's see, 20, it's almost $40 worth of silver alone. Uh, yeah, real money is right. Either way, I'm going to go one time. Oh, Kevin 11, born in month seven, is that's not a pseudo name of Kevin Hunt, is it? Uh, Kevin 11 is at 52. Indiana's at 53. I think they might have done the math. They're like, uh, wait a minute. He's going to get that for only like 10 bucks more than silver? Mm -hmm. That would be a lot of effort just for $10. Mm -hmm. That is true. All right, here we go. Either way, Matthew's at 54 on the 1911, the old Colt 1911. Matthew... Uh, Pete, they're okay. I'm gonna back off just for a second. These guys are kind of battling it out. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of like a little shootout going on, Mrs. T, and we'll see who's the last man standing and who's got the quicker trigger finger and who is got the most desire to have this piece in their hands. With uh, by the way, with a certificate of authenticity, little black satchel, and my gratitude for your bidding. Uh, Newt takes it up to 60. And let's see if it stays there or it goes up a little bit. Newt, 60, going once. Newt, 60, going two times. And this is probably where they wish they had a clock <laughs> rather than, oh, see that? Tuli Tuli is at 63. <laughs> Instead of you. Yeah, instead of me <laughs> getting distracted and stuff. But actually, that was pretty good timing there. Newt uh, bounces right back immediately at 64. And we've got a little battle. And Newt says, you know what, Tuli Tuli? You already got one. Let somebody else get one. And Tuli Tuli says, you know what? That's too low of a price to let it go at that price. Tiger jumps in. And so does Pete. Okay. All right. I'm going to take this opportunity while these guys are bidding. <laughs> to uh, do a little wardrobe issue here. Oh Oof. my goodness. Yeah, it was cold out today earlier, man. Uh, slide snowing. under that car in a cold. Yeah, it was snowing earlier. Yeah, it was snowing. Yeah. All right. Oh. Try to control yourself, Mrs. T. We'll do. All I'll right, here we go. Corner. All right. All right, we're going one time. As T gets down to his skivvies, going two times. A two gun Thule. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Two gun Thule. All righty. Uh, let's see. Indiana's at uh, 66. 
All right, Indiana bumps it up to 66. <laughs> Rick K is, is 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 making me feel uncomfortable here, Mrs. T. You know? With his take it off, take it off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh man. I was about burning up over here. Oh, Welch oh goes my. here. Where's Welch go? Yeah. All right. Hey, Welch go. He's uh, going Judy. two times. And let's see. I don't even know who was in the lead. I got a little discombobulated with Rick telling me, giving me commands like that. Going once. Tiger. Tiger's at 67. And see, if we had that sudden death clock, this would have been done a long time ago. <laughs> but that's okay. We're having fun. Uh, we're going once. We're going twice to El Tigre. And I want a timer. <laughs> going once. He wants a timer now when he's in the lead. Going twice. And... So, so, so. Did it hold up? I believe it did. How do you like that? Tiger Stacker takes it down. All right. I think you're going to like this, Tiger. Nice job. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Kevin. Oh. Let's see. Uh, Kevin Hunt is in the house. I've got a piece that's pretty cool. And I, I think it's time to bust it out for Kevin Hunt. And let's all, you know, everybody do your best to outbid Kevin here. <laughs> let's make him work for it, guys, because he's going to like this piece. All right, you ready, Kevin? Here's the one I've been telling you about. You got your 999 fine silver, 1.11 ounce. Just looking at the box, you might already know what it is. And um, let's see. And you take it off. And then you've got, look at that, Gateway to the West. Mrs. T, I don't think you even saw this one. No. You've got the St. Louis Arch there. And you've got Jefferson National Exposition Memorial, St. Louis, Missouri. This is that medallic art. I know Kevin loves it. Other people love it. And it's uh, stamped there with medallic uh, art on the, that. Now, but let me show you. What really makes this stand out, and by the way, I'll put this here, put that there, I'll put that there, so you guys can see it. And I'll, there's that. All right, there's the clocks in the background. And let me show you what, what really makes it stand out. Look at this. It comes with the original receipt from back in the day. It was uh, Gateway Arch Trading Post says, thank you. May 4th of 1974. Whoa. Somebody paid $9 for that uh, over an ounce of silver back in 1974. So that was a big markup because back then silver was quite a bit lower than that. And they paid with a $10 bill and they got a dollar change. Look at, wow, that. look at that. Isn't that cool? That is Somebody cool. kept the receipt all those years. Got a little uh, cotton there and I'll put that all away. And I'll say buck and go mm -hmm. on the cool arch piece with a story. Here you go mm -hmm. for your consideration. And it was cool, Mrs. T. You, yeah, uh, Mrs. Is. T and I went out to uh, see the arch and go to mm -hmm. a coin show and take in a Cubs game and hang out with a couple of friends out there last summer. And it was quite the experience. And uh, these guys are bidding $10, which... <laughs> Oh, man. You know what? We got some real... Mrs. T, go bid right now. Bid $11. Newt's at 30 Thank you. The sanity returns to this channel. Newt is at 30 Oh, my gosh. These guys are trying to get 1974 prices, Mrs. T. Yes. <laughs> I think they thought you wanted them to start in 74 prices. Yeah. Uh-huh. 1970. I was still in uh, short pants in 1974. Mm-hmm. I was only, let's see, uh, let's see, how old was I? Three years old? I wasn't stealing hubcaps by then, but uh, then a little bit later. Uh, Newt at 38, Newt at 38, I've been up in the Arch, Central Michigan says. I heard it's a really cool uh, trip uh, trip mm -hmm. all the way up. And Tuli Tuli says, I see a timer. Oops, what is that? No, it's that timer that you have going on. No, 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 what happened to my screen here? Oh. Uh, let's see, some little weird guy just popped up. Let's see, how 
How do I get rid of that? Oh no. Huh? Microsoft is doing all kinds of stupid stuff. There. All right, I'm back. You know, you click off and click in the wrong spot for like one second before you know it, things go haywire. All right, new to 38, going one time. Mm -hmm. Tuli Tuli's talking about the timer in the background. That was going to be my lag clock, Tuli Tuli. Mm -hmm. So I could just tell people, like, hey, if you want to know how far behind your internet is and how many seconds delay you'll have, just say lag. And wherever that's at, I would just say, the, uh, I would call out your name, and then you'd have a good nine. Uh, let's see. Uh, Fasikas is at 39. Fasikas is at 39. And then the other one would be the timer. This would be the one minute timer. And this would simply be the lag clock. Let's try it on the next one, just for the heck of it. And see mm -hmm. if people like it. All right, going one time. I don't even know who's winning at this point in time. Going two times to so whoever's winning. Central's is it Fasikas? Central's at 40. And going once to Central at 40. Going twice. And... Sold, sold, sold. All righty, it looks like Central at 40. Basica's headed at 39. Central bumped it up to 40. Mm -hmm. Central at 40, because he has been up in the arch. And now you've got a little piece of history mm -hmm. uh, to go with that story. And we're going to try out this clock just for the heck of it. Why not? One time. All right, actually. Let me add a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Boop, boop. All right. Sounds like there's a bomb about to go off, Mrs. C. Oh, no. All right. So this right here is called the lag clock. Let me start it. The lag clock. So see how it's at 43 seconds? If you would put in the word lag, and keep track, like keep track with your little pencil and paper where you're keeping down your auction stuff. Keep track of what second it's on. So say if it was on 30 seconds and you said lag, I would call out your name. And if it got down to 21 seconds, then you, uh, TJF lag, then you would know that it takes me nine seconds to see your bid or for your bid to go from your internet to my computer, Tuli Tuli lag, <clears throat> just like that. So just to keep track of what time it is. And like, so right now at 33 and zeros, you'd say lag and that new, is it lag? Lag, lag. Rick K is leg, <laughs> RH lag, six pack lag, you know? Leg. Central's lag. Oh boy, Rick K always likes to throw me off. You know that, Mrs. T? Lag Tiger. Lag Indiana in person. So you get the drift. Now you're figuring out how many seconds it takes from the time you type it out on your computer or your phone till I see it. So if it's eight seconds, 12 seconds, 15 seconds, all you have to do is when the timer's on, well, when the timer's on, you just know that it takes that many seconds to get that bid in. Uh, lag knocks. All right, let's try something real simple. Here we go. And by the way, it's sudden death. It's sudden death on this America, America piece right here. Sudden death on this uh, lag central. You've got the eagle. You've got the Liberty Bell, you've got the balance scale, and you've got a silver trade unit starting now. Sudden death. Now, when that gets down to zeros, uh, yeah, Central Michigan's got a 10 second lag. That's not bad. I uh, participate in auctions with this guy in the middle of the country, and my lag is typically about 14 to 16 seconds. Uh, RH starts us off at one. And uh, one bid, one dollar, and 35 seconds. Oh my gosh, RH, it might be like Price is Right, where you just put in the lowest <laughs> bid. Newt is at 28, and there's 27 sec uh, seconds left. And let's see, I don't know if this crowd is going to be able to figure it out. Uh, Newt is going to take it at 28. Kevin, nope, sorry, mm -hmm. Kevin. 
The price is not right. <laughs> uh, Newt's got it at 28. Newt's got it figured out, guys. And we're down to five seconds. And Newt, you know, they say you have to have a... RH is at 30. Oh, RH at 30. How do you like Newt? RH can even snipe with a clock. Either me counting down or the clock. RH got it at $30. Oh, boy, then a bunch of other yeah. bids come through. So the whole idea is you throw your biggest and strongest bid in, mm -hmm. knowing you're trying, when it gets down to zeros, to have the highest number there. So if you try to get cute at the end and just wait until there's three or four seconds, too late. you got to throw in that big bid at 10 or 12 seconds out. And Let's, then do they still get the sold? Because you didn't say that. Oh, no, I it. was, yeah. I, I did it verbally. I did it verbally. The sold was RH at 30. So mm -hmm. let's try it again. And let's see. Let's another vintage round. One troy ounce. 999. You've got the Eagle, the flag, silver trade unit. And another uh, from San Francisco, the U.S. assay office. We're going to start it. Boom. At a minute. Let's see. A minute to win it is the game here, guys. A minute to win it. And let's see those bids start rolling in. And let's see if people get the hang of it or we just go back to old school, Mrs. T. Okay. And silver trade unit, no bids yet. Oh, boy. And we're oh, down to 40 no. seconds. Uh -oh. Kevin is trying to do the Price is Right thing. Uh, Lisa is at 28. So now there's 33 seconds. So okay. you, if you... Say in your mind you think this is a $37 round, uh -huh. you better punch in 37 because uh, whoever has the highest bid at the end in mm -hmm. 20 seconds to go, oh uh, B Soldier is at 29, okay. uh, which is above Lisa. Uh, Newt's at 30, winning with only 11 seconds oh. to go. And let's see if it holds up for Newt at $30 mm -hmm. and three or four. Three, two, RH is at 31. <laughs> oh, and well, Newt movie. at 32 got it. Oh, my gosh. RH almost had it, but uh, Newt's 32 popped up. All right. All right. I don't know if you guys, now that you've gone through it a, a couple of times, would you prefer to do the... Uh, they, said to do both. they said to do both. No, like Kevin's putting in a bit of 37 in now. <laughs> Man, <laughs> oh gosh! All right, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm uh, uh, RH uh, does a little tip of the cap there, and I don't know. I'm not sure this crowd uh, is quite uh, hip to the whole idea I of the. They are. I think you they you think got they got it? it? I think so. I think. Well, I'm a little bit worried about doing something big like this. That I know this is 1986, by the way, a harder year to get. I don't want this to go for like $30 or something. Sure, okay. All right, let me see. Let me do this. Let me put that. I'll tell you what. Let me get my system down a little bit so they can see everything. There's that. There's that. Get these out of the way. So you've got the clock there, the lag there, and the coin there or the round there. All right. We're going to try. Can you guys see all three? And this time, I'll even type in the word S-O-L-D. That way, there's no confusion. I don't have to put in going once, going twice, or anything like that. A 1986 prospector, and go. 59 seconds. There you go. <coughs> all right. Uh, oh, sorry, B. Soldier, I missed your leg. If you want to do it again, uh, I've got Kevin at two, R.H. at one. Uh, you know, Kevin's a bad influence on even RH is putting in ones now. TH, uh, TJF is at 32, Ghost is at 35 on the prospector, and we're down to 35 seconds, my friends. And I'm about to say SOLD sold, and it's 28 seconds right now. Ghost is at 35. Let's see those bids come in. Uh, let's see. B Soldier says, mm -hmm. I'm good, T, thanks. Mm -hmm. And Lisa is at 36. With 15 seconds to go. Yeah, see, they got it. Uh, you they think so? It. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see how it goes. 36 is pretty low for this. <laughs> well, going yes. once, <laughs> going twice, and well, three, 
Two, one. Sold, sold, sold. All right, as soon as I heard the sound, I hit sold. Pete Clark mm -hmm. was the winner. So it's a minute to win it. And Pete Clark, 38. All right, let's try mm -hmm. another prospector. That was 86. Let's try the old 84, Mrs. T. A good year. Mm -hmm. Van Halen was on the radio. Life was good. Big E logo. There you go. Big E with the bull logo. Let's put this dude right here. And minute to win it. Boom. And 58 seconds. Mm -hmm. Let me put in S-O-L-D. And when that gets down, uh, it'll be over. 1984, Big E, Inglehard. Mm -hmm. It's live. It's going to go in it's 45 seconds. No bids? Prospector, no bids. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mrs. Wow. T, put in a dollar. Maybe uh, Ghost is at 30. <laughs> Ghost is at 30. So I can keep it? Yeah, yeah there you go. And uh, speaking of 30, there's 30 seconds left. Yevney is at 31. Uh, Phil is at 35 with 24 seconds to go. Mm -hmm. And the clock is ticking. And Kevin is trying to get my goat. Speaking of Silvertown, I need to go do a, a video down there. Mm -hmm. uh, 13 seconds, guys. And if your lag is longer than that, you're already too late. Ghost is taking it at 36. And we're about to hear that beep. Here it goes. Oh, Lisa's at 37. Oh, she's got it timed perfectly. Although, Pete Clark. Oh, RH at the end. Right before the sold. Oh, my gosh. There it is. And uh, those are all north of the sold. 30, 37, 38, 39. All came in in a flurry. 39. Mrs. T, I think yeah. they got it. I think they got it. You put that in a little plastic flip. Here's. Uh -huh. These these little guys for these guys. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, let's mm -hmm. keep the prospectors rolling. Well, you saw the 86, you saw the 84, and now the 85. Uh, and th by the way, this dude looks like he came right out of a tube, straight from like a time machine from 1985. Uh, if you'd ever, I know there's some people that get these graded. I don't know if I ever would, but if <laughs> this would be like a candidate for that because this one the fields everything just perfect 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 you got that pinwheel going on uh let's start it minute to win it there you go there you go, there you go. minute to win it uh, i think these guys got it figured out uh <laughs> kevin's putting in 40 like a half hour late all right let me put in sold and as soon as i hear that beep for zero i will hit the enter button and the yeah. word sold will be in there, and whoever's above that is live. Whoever's below that, like Kevin Hunt, will not be live. Mm -hmm. Look at the cartwheel. And so TJF is currently in the lead. Tiger is trying to bust my chops. And we've got 24 Phil's seconds. Down. Phil's at 38. Yeah. From what I can see on this pristine 1985. Mm -hmm. I always wanted a 1985 IROC. Uh, when I was a kid, I'd see those zooming around the neighborhood. Uh, 10 seconds, guys. <laughs> 10 seconds. Rick Kay can do a cartwheel. <laughs> then go swatching at 39. And here we go. Two, one, sound, sold. <laughs> All right. There we go. And let's see. Uh, ghost watching timed yeah. it perfectly. He got it at 39. Pete was just a half a second too late. So, that lag time, whatever, yeah. Pete, whatever you, if you're going on an eight second lag or a 10 second, whatever it is, just add another second because mm -hmm. you're less than a second too late on that one. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me see what else. Oh, let's go back to 1984. Go back to 84, my friends. Another good year. There you go. Nice shape. And what's this one? Well, this is the flag. And the eagle, the screaming eagle, 1984, minute to win it, minute to win it. And let's see where we're at. Uh, raging, uh, at the 53 seconds, raging elephants. elephants, raging elephants, says chat, chat. Hi there, raging elephants. Welcome. Glad you're here. There's over 60 people here. And one of them is going to win this old school vintage Englehard Prospector in 36 seconds. Uh, let me type out. Yeah. 
S O L D. And I I see nude at 32. Uh Kevin. Uh no, Tuli Tuli did not send me anything this week. Uh hopefully next week. Uh she and I will chat. James is at 37 in the lead with 20 seconds to go. Kevin has money to spend. Ooh, Ooh Kevin, I'll find something for you then. Uh let's see. Ghost is at 38 with only 10 seconds to go. Mm -hmm. I have S O L D. And sudden death here. Here we go. Once I hear the beep. Yep. Three, two, one, zero. Beep and sold. I think we've got a routine down here. And stop. All right. Uh, and it looks like uh, Pete Clark at 39. Yep. Pete Clark at 39. Congratulations. And let's see. Ooh. This one is like actually proof like. This one is actually proof like. And oh, this is the 84 with the big E. So if you know Silverstruck, uh, you know he knows his vintage. He's the one that taught me 84 was the transition year. Some of them had the eagle and flag, others had the old school big E like this. And this one, again, this one would be worthy of grading if you do that sort of thing with rounds. Uh, not that I would personally, but I mean, it's that perfect. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Look at that. Ooh. 84. Right. 84. Perfect. Pristine. Minute to win it. Here we go. Here we go. We need to do a test. Which prospector melts faster? How about zero prospectors melt faster, Tiger Stanker? Is my mic back? Is my mic back? It looks like no IQ got the 484 RA on that 464. And is my mic back? What do you know? Woo -wee. Oh boy, here we go. All right, $40. No IQ was a thing. Congratulations. All right, garbled. Mike is back. Garbled. Can you hear me? Testing one, two, three. And, yeah, have to figure that out. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, let's see. Kind of sound far oh, away. Yeah. <sighs> Let me try something else. Let me go to my settings. And this doggone rascal. All right, yeah. audio. Oh, yep. Here we go. Let me go to this. Oh, now. Let me now. Mm -hmm. All right, that sounds good. Ooh, that was a little worrisome. All right, other for your consideration, we do this time an 82. We're running through the prospectors, Mrs. T. And again, another, there goes that old school Big E logo, Englehard, gorgeous logo. And there you go. Minute to win it on the 82. No, it says worse now. Oh, worse now. Gone. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> Let's see. What can I do? Uh, Lisa's at 38. Let me type in S-O-L-D. Let's see. Settings. Let's see. Audio. I could get off the Yeti and do... Okay, it says you're back now. I'm back now? It's good. Okay. Oh, boy. In and out, in and out. All right, and we're at 27 seconds. Okay. Uh, it's good. All right. Woo! 82. And, ooh, Lisa's at 38 on a nice old 1982. Is that the oldest one we've done? 
And I've got 14 yes. seconds. And I'm about to hit S O L D mm -hmm. in just a second. Six seconds. Five, three, two. Uh, RH jumps in there. And sold, sold, sold. And there we go. It looks like RH sniped it at $40. Congratulations, RH. Nice piece there. Picking those up one after another. And oh, here's one for someone of discerning taste. If you are a connoisseur of the lollipop, there you go. 1982 lollipop. Little tone action down there. There you go, Big E in the lollipop. Let's see here as I try to mess up my camera mm -hmm. and to match my mic. <laughs> there we go, lollipop. There you go, minute to win it. Old school, 1982, buck and go on the old lollipop. On the old lollipop. There we go. Let's see if these guys like the lollipops. Mrs. C. No, no, no. What's place. your favorite flavor? Mine's cherry. Lollipops. Oh, um. Lemon? No, green apple. Green apple? Ooh. <laughs> oh, yep, me. And 25. Oh, Why would you 32. ask it then? Oh, ooh. On the lollipop. Ooh, it's in the lollipop wrapper. Just like when you used to go to the bank with your parents and the teller would give you a lollipop. Yevney is at 30. With 20 seconds left, get your bids in. You could take it out of the lollipop if you don't like them. But some people like the fact that it's still in that original wrapper like that. Mm -hmm. uh, B Soldier is at 31. Yevney is at 33. These guys are going back and forth. Mm -hmm. Right now, there's only three seconds left. And oh, I'm boy. about to hit S-O-L-D. So, 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 it looks like Yevney at 39. Mrs. T, Yevney uh -huh. at 39. And uh, what the heck? We might as well just roll through the last two prospectors that we have. This one, uh, man, I got really lucky when I found these. Uh, a 1985. I got a nice variety of dates. Very nice condition. And just, just beautiful. And let me put that there. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. And we'll hit minute to win it. There you go. All right. Let me type in S-O-L-D. And we've got 52 seconds to see who's going to win that gorgeous 1985 cartwheel action. 1985. Uh, Ghost is at 39. Mm -hmm. Coming in strong and not messing around. 35 seconds to go. I've got soul typed out. I want the plastic to melt. Uh, ooh, I might be able to help you with that, Tiger. I might be able. So everybody heard it. Tiger wants plastic to melt. All right, Tiger, I got something for you. It's 20 seconds to go. Tiger wants plastic. You heard that, right, Mrs. T? I sure did. All righty. Going in 10 seconds. S-O-L-D is in there. And the current bid is $39. And we've got no sniping, I don't think. So sold, sold, sold. There you go, 39 on that guy. And Tiger said he wants plastic. Tiger, you want plastic? You know, that's what I like to take good care of my people, Mrs. T. Mm -hmm. And they tell me they want a lollipop, I give them a lollipop. They tell me they want plastic, I give them plastic. Well, that one's busting out. And there we go. You got a whole lot of Engelhards there. That, look at that. It just keeps going and going, Mrs. T. Yeah. There you go. Tiger said he wants plastic. You got plastic, Tiger. All right, so on this one, whatever it goes for, whatever it goes for, the winner will have the option of taking one to 10, however many they want. And I really hope uh, I, uh, that whoever wins it will want all 10, but it'll be their prerogative 
And if I have to, I will pull out the scissors in one minute. Boom, tiger, there you go. <coughs> he says, forget cut, 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 melt, melt, melt. Well, let me just type in S-O-L-D. You got 48 seconds. Oh, and I have them right here. There you go. There you go. I will, I'm not afraid to use them. There you go. You got a whole batch of them right there, Tiger. Angle hard prospector. Beautiful old vintage silver for your consideration. 24 seconds. Oh my gosh, Yevney's got it at 25. Uh, Ghost at 26. Uh, you could take, Tiger's got it at 27. Oh boy, I hope he just takes one. Uh, at $27, I'm giving these away. That's below my cost. Uh, they are not consecutive numbers. Seven seconds. Be soldier. Oh boy, Newt's at 30. All right, let me get S O L D. All right, sold, sold, sold. And be soldier at 33. Be soldier at 33. Sorry, Yevney, I would have liked to have sold them to you for 37, uh, but B Soldier was right before the sold. B, how many would you like? Just let me know, and I'll use these scissors to cut them, and uh, or just take all 10. Your choice on the Ingle Hard and the old Lollipop. These are the bars, not the rounds. Uh, you got a good price on those. B, just let us know, and they will be yours. I'll cut them right up for you. Whoop, look at that. Bam. Yeah, that was a good find when I found those at a coin shop. Uh, B Soldier takes three. All right. One, two, three. Right off the end there. All right, B Soldier, here you go. One, two, three for B Soldier. Okay. Yeah, cheap, cheap, cheap is right, right, right. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Was there a backup bidder? Was there a backup bidder? And let's see. Man, that's like below my cost. Uh, let's see. I see Dave Yevney was in there at 32 was the next highest. The next highest before sold was Yevney. So Yevney, would you like, uh, there's seven left. So Yevney, it's your prerogative if, because you had the next highest bid before sold. So Yevney, let us know and, or else these suckers will go away. 32, no, it uh, went for 33, Yevney. It went for 33. So the, whatever the winning price was, you have to take it at that. And that is a bargain. Those are Gosh, those are probably $45 bars all day. Uh, but either way, fair and square. You have any? Just mm -hmm. let us know. I need a drink of water, Mrs. Okay. T. That was, whoo. Yep, that's all. I've got a okay. tiger's asking me for plastic, and I throw my plastic out there. You want to probably do a gone next? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Whatever they go for, they go for. Okay. Uh, let's see. You have any? You're up. You have any? Let us know. Would you like one, Yevney? Uh, let's see. Let Tiger melt. <laughs> that would be a criminal act. I don't know if I could do that. Uh, Yevney's in the driver's seat right now. Yevney, would you like one, seven, hint, hint, take seven before <laughs> Tiger melts them? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. There's seven left. There were 10. Uh, Yevney says one at 33. You got it, Yevney. All right. There we go. Slice away. Got one right there. All right, give that to Yevney. Okay. That means there's six left. Who else was the next highest bidder before the sold sign? Mm, let's see. Where is the sold? Maybe Tuli Tuli can scroll up and help me because every time I scroll, I kind of goof up. Tuli Tuli, who is next? Who is next? Next highest before the sold. Just let us know, Tuli Tuli. And let me take another drink of water. Ooh, RH, I think. Uh, that's new. Tuli Tuli, can you confirm? Ah, all right, let me take this lid off. 
There we go. Uh, Tuli Tuli says Phil. Tuli Tuli says Phil. So Phil, I've got six left. You just let me know. Uh, let's see. Phil takes three. Okay. One, two, three. Well, that was a good price, guys. Really good price. Oh, that's a time where the, the clock backfired, Mrs. C. There you yeah. go, Phil. One, two, three. Yep. There you go. And then who is after that? Then RH and then Dave. Uh, RH, there's three left at uh, $33. And your prerogative, I have a feeling RH is going to snatch these up in about two seconds flat. RH, just let us know. Boom. Thank you, guys. All righty. Here we go. These are RH? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Three? Mm hmm Okay. All right. Let me see what is next. Let me reach over here. Um, pardon my little pause here. Mm -hmm. Talk some amongst yourself, class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's see. What do we do next? Um, oh, well, I was saying we should just finish the prospectors. There's an 86. There's one last. 1986. <clears throat> and here you go. Last of the prospectors, my friends. And here you go. That is the flag and the eagle. All right, amigos. Here we go. Last prospector. Minute to win it. And let's go. Let's go. Let me type out. <clears throat> Hope everybody's having a nice night. It's fun to be with you guys. We have over 60 people here. Raging Elephants is at uh, 25. Ghost is at 30. And uh, Tiger's looking for Knox. We have 37 seconds to go. There we go. Yep, he's at 32. Yep, you made a good purchase earlier. Really good purchase. All right, Yevney is at 32 on the old prospector. Last one of the night. Maybe I should have saved a couple of these for whatnot. This is C. Mm -hmm. Knox is here. Yevney at 32 with only 13 seconds to go. All right, well, let's see. A lot of silver flying tonight. Ooh. Five seconds, guys. Any last second bid's going to roll in, or is Yevney going to steal it? <laughs> no. Nope. James Endo is going to take it down for 38. He guessed based on what the other ones were going for. That's about the range. And I've got James at 38. James at 38. Congratulations, James. There you go. And Mrs. T, let's see. Is it time for another giveaway? Are we getting down to yeah. that, or did we just yeah. do one? No, no. I've kind of lost three, track. There, and then this is your last one. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's do a giveaway. Let's give people some silver. Uh, you guys have been really, really nice tonight. It's been fun hanging out with you, to be honest with you. And here we go. Winner, winner, winner. Four winners. Four grams of Velcambi Primo Silver. And let's see. What's the commercial? Oh, the commercial is pretty simple. Like and comment and all the videos you see. All of us YouTubers work so hard to pr uh, produce good stuff for you, whether it's me or Tiger or Tuli Tuli or Central Michigan or any of the other uh, Long Live Coins or any of the other uh, YouTubers around here. Be sure to like and uh, you know comment and promote people's videos. They're hard work. Oh, here's a quickie. Uh, and Tuli Tuli is going to get this one for sure. What day of the week did T hit, did I hit 20,000 subscribers? Oh my gosh, it was so fun. The person that broke the news to me was none other than Tuli Tuli. Mrs. T and I were busy doing an auction. She was doing her thing, I was doing my thing. Mm -hmm. And Tuli Tuli broke in and said, T, you just surpassed the 20,000 subscriber mark. And that was Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday of this week. And uh, man, it was, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, 
that was a lot of fun and uh man oh man uh you know i've been toiling away on youtube here not knowing where things would land and never did i guess when i was down at like 100 150 or 200 subscribers mm -hmm. never did i guess that i was going to uh hit 20,000 and here we go and uh central michigan make sure you like and subscribe to everybody out there busting their butts on youtube mm -hmm. uh but wednesday is the correct answer rh mm -hmm. eric grimes and six pack 110 and Rick the Tick K. Congratulations, guys. Here we go, Mrs. T. You got all those names? All righty. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What do we do next? Whoa. Oh, boy. That one went off. Let's give it some more minutes. Let's start that one over. We'll give this a bunch of minutes. And let's see. Ah, that'll put us over the two hour mark right there. We'll see where that lands. Either way, that's the lag clock. And there we go. That's the lag clock. Should we do keep doing the clock or uh, go back to the old school? Uh, you guys let me know. Clock or old school? Let me scroll down and see what the answer is. Clock or old school? And let's see. Ooh, I've got something interesting to throw out there. Uh, let's go old school this time. Okay. Let's go old school. Here we go. Grandma Gold, uh, I'll tell you what, to celebrate 20,000 subscribers, <laughs> buck and go on the Whoa. gram of gold. Buck and go on a gram of gold. There you go. Let's see who will win it. We're going old school. They say go old school. We go old school. Wow. Gram of gold. Uh, Rick Kay is bidding $3 on a mm -hmm. gram of gold. All right. I don't think it'll land there. TJF bumps it up to 50. Mm -hmm. Let's zoom in. And that pretty little gram of gold. And yeah. They do add up, my friends. They do add up. Uh, Knox is at 70. Still below my cost. Uh, Eric is at 75. Still below my cost. And yeah, gold. Not cheap. Man, I remember back in the day. Well, not long ago, you could get gold at, I don't know, $70 a gram, and it's far north of that now. Far north of $70. There you go. Uh, let's see. I didn't see. James is at 78. Oh, there's James Hendo is at 78. James Hendo is at 78. Let's see where she lands. Uh, no IQ is at 80. And it's climbing slowly but surely. The old school, you guys see that kookaburra in the background? Maybe we ought to do that one next. That's a pretty one. Did I save one of those for myself? I hope I did. Is that I one back know. there, Mrs. T? I don't know, but you're going to hurt yourself. I know, I shouldn't be, oh my gosh. You shouldn't be turning Shouldn't be contorting fast. my back like that yeah. to look behind me. No IQ is going to steal this one at $80? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. No IQ at $80. Uh, that's a high IQ if you ask me. What year is that kook? Uh, 2024. That's the new one. That's the new one with the kookaburra with the snake clutching the snake. But either way, let's go to no IQ at $80. Ooh, this will be one and only gold offering of the night. That's for sure. Oh, Danny Butler's at 100. Danny's at 100. Here we go. Danny at 100. Going one time. D-N-N-Y at 100. Going two times. Danny will not be denied. Uh, going once, going twice to Danny, Danny, Danny Butler, and sold, sold, sold. Danny, congratulations! Get yourself a gram of gold, nice carded as well. There you go. And let's do this kook. Look at this little beauty. I love this year's design, the 2024. The kookaburra carrying a little snake. Extra points if anybody knows what variety of snake that is. Uh, I have no idea what Australian snakes are. They're probably all poisonous in Australia uh, because that's that's rugged land out there. All right, you got the kook there. You got another kook on this side. And there he is. 
And oh, by the way, did you guys hear about Kate Middleton? Speaking of royalty, oh, yeah, what happened to her? Uh, she was diagnosed with cancer, unfortunately, oh, wow. uh, which is sad. Uh, Kookaburra, buck and go. Kookaburra, buck and go. And that's probably out of all the kooks, my favorite design. I have to say this one. Yeah, there's been. I like the fence post one. I like the mama and the baby bird. But there's something about this one, the the bird on on the wing, mm -hmm. uh, with the snake. I mean, yeah, well, it's a nice one. I think I need to get a few more from my collection. To be honest with you, uh, mm -hmm. Eric's at 35 on the kook. Even yeah. the wording or the letters look nice. Yeah, it's yeah. just the whole thing is all visually very appealing. The way everything is laid out. Mm -hmm. Eric at 35 going one time. Yeah. And uh, especially with the. Like the shiny parts here mm -hmm. with the wings and then the frosted in the back, the whole the whole nine yards. It's just nice. Yeah. Uh Ghost is at 36 going one time. And let's see if Eric jumps back in. Ghost at 36 going two times. And I'll be happy to send this one to Florida or California or Texas or New York, wherever you're at, going once. Oh, Lisa is at 38. Lisa is at 38. Got a little battle for the coop going on. Lisa at 38 going one time, Tuli Tuli says. Lisa at 38 going two times. And going once. Going twice. And Kookaburra sold. Lisa got a nice piece there. All right. Liza. Liza. Oh, I'm sorry. Liza. Like Liza Minnelli. Thank you, Liza. I appreciate you clarifying that. Tuli. Oh, thank you, Tuli Tuli. Liza. All right. If I'm lying, I'm buying. Here we go. Julius Caesar. Look at that dude. Sword in hand. Grimace on his face. Biceps bulging. Fist clenched. Man, ready for business here. This is Legendary Warriors 999 Fine Silver. It's got axes and all kinds of uh, swords and bow and arrow. All kinds of weapons on this side. Man, this is a badass coin right here. Uh, actually, round. It's not a coin. It's a round. A Caesar. Buck and go on the Caesar. It sounds like a uh, Little Caesars commercial. Buck and go mm -hmm. on the Little Caesar here. A little squeezers is what we call it around here. <coughs> there we go. Julius Caesar. This is prior to the knives getting inserted in his back. Brutus at two. Uh, Jay's at 20 on the Caesar. One ounce of silver, my friends, and a cool design. And let's see what else we have next. Uh, Knox is a 25 on the Julius Caesar. Looks like he could knock out somebody with the butt of his sword as well. Boom. Knock him in the head. Knock somebody out with that thing. Uh, let's see. Knox a 25. Ooh, bargain time for Knox. Let's see if anybody jumps in at the end here. Knox at 25. Newt to 27. Bumps it up a little bit. And we're approaching my cost. Uh, Newt at 27. I like to get a variety. I don't like doing the same stuff over and over and over. I like to throw a little variety in there to give you something different to consider. Uh, Newt to 27 going two times. And no Julius Caesar fans, evidently. Oh, Eric at 28. Knox, you're out. Uh, excuse me, Newt, you're out. And we've got Let's see, a bunch of people flourish at 28. Let's see how it, uh, Liza settles it down at 29. Let's see, we'll count down. We'll see if anybody bumps it up to 30. Is that a kitten in a box? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's either that or a box of Kleenex. I can't really tell. Uh, let's go, Liza, going two times. And Liza, let's see, oh, I misspelled. S O L D. Oh, wait a minute. Newt bumps, bumps it up to 30. Uh, going one time to Newt at 30. 
going two times to Newt at 30. Liza, your turn. Going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. She got it. Looks like Newt at 30 on Julius Caesar looking pretty tough there. Julius Caesar looking tough. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, oh, guys, I've been waiting for this one. I've got a cool piece. And maybe, ah, uh, should I hold, Mrs. T, uh, maybe I should hold on to this one. All right, well, I've already touched it, so here we go. Yeah, All right, I... this side doesn't look that exciting. Freedom, the American way, kind of cool. You've got a, looks like a settler there with his wife. He's got his hand around her waist. And a little kid in tow and you got America in the background but the, the other side is what makes this one interesting you ever seen a Johns Johnson Matthew round one troy ounce 1986 told you I bring you cool stuff Johnson Matthew you always see those in bars old school vintage very valuable bars here is your chance to get a Johnson Matthew in the form of a round from the year 1986. And it says USA right there. And uh, I can't say that I've ever seen this one before. Um, Johnson Matthew, buck and go. This is a different one. And I'm already having regrets that yeah. I didn't just throw that in my tube of interesting you rounds. Kept, you kept looking at it. I, uh, yeah, I should have. Uh, I pray no one cleans it. Mike mm -hmm. for democracy. Yeah, no, it's got some nice old uh, patina to it. Uh, it's not all toned up, but it's also not bright and shiny like a proof like or anything. It's just has the right look to a coin, excuse me, a round from 1986. Mm -hmm. And it's a buck and go. So nobody wants it. I'll just throw it right back in my collection. <laughs> all right. I'm going to give you a couple seconds. Maybe you'll be lucky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope, Eric says 30 bucks. Eric throws out a 30. Mm -hmm. uh, Rick Hayes trying to talk it down. Uh, too late, Eric, if, or Rick. Uh, <laughs> if you would have done that earlier, nobody bit. I would have just kept it, but it's too late now. Uh, Pete's got it at 35 at the moment. Eric responds. Yeah, I, I can't say out of all these coin shops, all these years, all these places mm -hmm. I've been, and I've ever seen a Johnson Matthew like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Sometimes I make dumb moves, Mrs. T. Uh, Pete Clark at 41. And yeah, I probably. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Too late. Too late. What am I hemming and hawing about? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's already out there. <laughs> yeah. Duh. All right. Uh, Pete Clark at 41 going two times on the very collectible and probably worth $55 or so. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, really? Yeah, check I, out eBay. I'll, I'll sell this one and I'll go to eBay and I'll go find find Please myself a couple. Because, yeah, no use crying over this one. Looks like a fine bourbon. Uh, going, oh, Pete jumps it up to 43. Going one time to Pete at 43. Going two times to Pete at 43. Ghost is watching. And did you guys see that commercial that said, believe in ghosts? Uh, uh, let's yeah. see. Liza is at 44. I was watching the NCAA basketball tournament, and there was something about believe in ghosts. Oh. Ghosts are real. And I believe that. But it sounds like there's some kind of promotion saying ghosts are real. What? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Ghosts are real. and Well, yeah, but they don't have to promote it. Well, I don't know what they're trying to promote, a movie or a series or, or something. Or maybe Ghostbusters. Oh, maybe. I Going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. Yeah, I have uh, mixed emotions about going to see Ghostbusters. Uh, I don't know. I'm partial to the old stuff. And whenever they re try to make, remake something, congratulations, Liza. Uh, it's never as good as the original. But I don't know. Maybe it'll be worth a look. Uh, sticking with the vintage theme. Oh, I forgot I had those. All right. Man, I'm telling you guys, this is a good night. I've got some crazy stuff. Uh, if you like patina, this one's got a nice one. Honest value. 
never fails. And USS Constitution. And it's got the whole, uh, what is that? Article 2, uh, Article 1, Section 10 of the US Constitution on this side. It's got really nice tone all the way around. Happens to be Silver Dragon's favorite round. And I'm sure you all know who Silver Dragons is. Uh, Silver Dragons has like 200,000 subscribers. And that's wow. as of a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, buck and go on the honest value never fails. Man, 200,000. I can only imagine. So when you get to a certain, do you get a, a plaque or a certificate? When you get to 100,000, okay. you get a YouTube play button. Oh. It's a nice little plaque they send you. It's shiny and... I mean, I've seen guys like Daniel Malone, uh, one of the guys that I watch, when he uh, unveiled his, yeah. he purposely, he he basically pulled it out of the package uh, on camera. Dude started crying wow. because, you know, the effort that it takes to get to that point uh, is immense. Absolutely immense. That's uh, Coin Help You. If you guys ever want to look for a good coin channel, where it's educational and you can learn a lot. Uh, Newt's at 35. Uh, Daniel Malone, uh, coin help you. But yeah, he started crying. Yeah. He's like, uh, you know, he was so touched uh, by the fact that, you know, the hard work paid off. He hit 100,000. He got that YouTube play button. How about 50,000? Uh, nothing. You get a, you know, swift kick in the butt. Uh, oh, to keep going. <laughs> they don't give you a squat until you get to 100,000. And wow. here's the thing. We are, me, Tiger, Tuli Tuli, Central Michigan, all these guys, we're in a tiny little niche. Yes. And for us to hit 100K, gosh, even to hit 20K, uh, I felt pretty good about that. Um, and But to hit 100K would be a threshold that is really, yeah, Coin Help You took off. And once he hit 100,000, which wasn't that long ago, mm -hmm. he took off like a rocket to 174. Uh, Tiger bumps it up as I'm over here talking. And I don't know, it's something to aspire to. I don't know if I'll ever get there. Mm -hmm. uh, those guys are super, super talented. And I give them all the credit in the world. But anyway, the one we started talking about is Silver Dragons. And that's his favorite round. Going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. Now, wait a minute. This one is in plastic. I certainly hope a certain person doesn't melt the whole thing in the plastic and everything. Uh, let's see. You can go anywhere. T Thank you, Tuli Tuli. I appreciate the support. And Tuli Tuli, you're a big part of this channel. I want you to know, Mrs. T and I both feel the same way. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I've got something. Mrs. T, let me ask you this. Uh -huh. These ones that I showed you earlier, should I save those? Or should I throw them out there? She, okay, Mrs. T. All right, so, so Mrs. T and I had a special round made for us. And we had to get dressed up and pose. But here we are. There's T the Aztec and Mrs. T the Aztec Queen dancing there. <laughs> there you go. You have the Aztec design, T and Mrs. T. And there you go. You got a little Aztec motif on the back. But this, I remember posing for this. I had, I really had to show off my abs for this one. Can mm -hmm. you guys see them? I had to show off my six pack. It was a little cold, but I did it just for the sake of making this round here. And here it is for your consideration. Uh, and you were dancing your butt off in that, uh, you know, that day. Miss T, I see you dancing there. Oh, Aztec yeah. round, buck and go. Uh, yeah, Yevni says the sculptor got it perfect, nailed it, chiseled abs, absolutely. Oh. All right, uh, Aztec round, and yeah, I was thinking about keeping this one just for old time's sake, but you know, all I have to do is look in the mirror and I could see those abs. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard there, Mrs. T? Yeah. Because you haven't seen those abs uh, since 1994? <laughs> Oh my goodness! You know, uh -huh. you those are some nice, good dance moves you have there. I'll you tell have them. A nice All right. imagination. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. <laughs> Eric is a twenty-eight. Uh, Rick K is at thirty-two. Wait a minute. I don't know if I want Rick K to get this one. He's going to be looking at Mrs. T all the time on that coin. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
no, no, no. Uh, I'm going to take it over to Kevin Hunt's. And uh, down there in Indy. They're going to talk about your abs. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It says hubba hubba. Oh, man. Look at that. Dancing Aztecs. That's a different one. I haven't seen Kevin on the chat. Maybe okay. he left. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. He's probably playing with his cats right now. <laughs> All right. Rick K at 32. Uh, maybe he's mad that he didn't get that St. Louis arch. I don't know. No. Going once, going twice on the dancing Aztecs, and <laughs> so and so and so. <laughs> All right, Rick King. There you go. There we go. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, what did I have up here? Oh, speaking of Aztecs, in a capsule. Nice and minty fresh. There you go. Buck and go on that. And uh, let's see. There we go. You got the Aztec. Uh, they call this, the, um, it's really the Sunstone. They call it the Aztec calendar. Uh, a lot of people do. I wish I could pronounce his name well. It's uh, Guatemoc. 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 And there you go. This is the cool side. This is my. This is what my tattoo is based on, is the center of this here. I'll have to show you guys. I already did the face reveal. I'll have to do the tattoo reveal somewhere oh, no. down, the, down the road. With those chiseled abs. Oh, yeah. But the abs are a little marred up. They say coins for life now. I had that, uh, that ab uh, tattoo installed, Mrs. T, that say coins for life. And uh, I don't know if people are ready to see that. On those six pack of abs and that old English. All right, where are we at? Ghost of 28. Ghost of 28. And boy, that's low, low, low. Going at one time to Ghost. <laughs> Rick K doesn't have abs, he has a barrel. <laughs> uh, and Ghost of 20. You guys are going to let Ghost steal this one, huh? Oh boy. He's going to be like a phantom in the night. He is. And going once, going twice. Oh, Indiana bumps it up to 29. And Liza's at 29. Indiana got there first. And let's see where she lands. Uh, let's see if we get it up to 30. We'll see. Either way, I'm counting down. Going one time to Indiana in person. And I'm going up. Liza takes it, does take it to 30. We'll go. One time to Liza at $30. Then we'll say two times to Liza at $30. Uh, any more pyramids? Not tonight, but I plan on doing some silver pours uh, this week, Kevin. Uh, going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. Good purchase there. Good purchase there. All right, we're going to try something totally different. If any of you like nostalgia, we're going to go to, and Kevin, you know about these. We're going to go to an old school. They call this, if I remember correctly, Kevin, the soapbox design on this old annex lamb. And take a look. You got a nickel 1966, but, and it's an MS 65 which for back in the day, that's pretty good. But the cool thing is you got it in this old school slab. So those of you who like the history of, uh, you know, grading coins, this is one of the original old school uh, from way back. And I'm gonna throw it out there, the nickel in the soap box. And there you go, a buck and go on this one buck and go on the old school annex slab 1966 nickel and rick k is at five five on the five cent piece rick uh, k is at 10 outbidding himself and uh rick k is taking it up must like the slab somebody uh, let's see. interesting piece Kevin's keeping him honest by putting in 11. Keep on bidding, Rick. Kevin will be right behind you, my friend. 
That's what friends are for. All right, here we go. Uh, dogs hear somebody barking. Uh, yeah, maybe my daughter's home and the who always loves to forget her key and make us get up at any time of day or night from our couch where we're watching TV or something to go answer the door. Oh, only 11. Uh, no, Rick's at 12. Rick's at 12, Tuli Tuli. Kevin uh, kept Rick honest by throwing in uh, 11. And to bump Rick up to 12, Rick at 12. Wow. On the old soapbox. I thought maybe somebody would have a little more nostalgia for the old holder uh, going one time. Is it full steps? Full steps. Oh. It's an MS-65, so it's got to be pretty, pretty pristine and pretty intact. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Rick Kay is trying to tell Tom to hush so that he doesn't reveal that this is a really, really nice coin he's running away with in a cool old slab. And I'm going two times to Rick Kay at 12 measly dollars. Man. All right. Last time I buy one of those. <laughs> uh, LLC is here. Hey there. David's doubloons in the house. David's here. You know, you throw out some uh, American numismatic pieces and David comes out of the woodwork. David, oh, to the rescue. I thought it was going to go for $12. <laughs> and let's see if Rick here or Knox respond. But David, you got it going one time. David at 15, going two times. We still have over 50 people here. We just hit the two-hour mark, Mrs. C. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're running out of material. But I do have some stuff. Uh, head or tails down under coins. Hi there. Going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold to our buddy David the Bloom. All right. Now, this next piece, uh, let me give you a little clue about coin shop owners, and I'll tell you how that relates to me. Sometimes I'll go into coin shops, and I'll realize the type of coins that the coin collectors collect themselves. For example, if you like toners, and you really, really like toners, you can go to my buddy Rich over at the Gold Depot, and you can see a lot of toners there, but you could tell he really likes them because he doesn't give them away for cheap, that's for sure. And that's the same way I feel about this right here, this piece right here, this 1887 Morgan Dollar in the Rattler. This one doesn't really rattle. It's in there pretty good. Old school, the thing I like about this is this represents the dawn of coin grading. So back in the day, guys would gather around at the coin shop and they would argue whether a coin is an MS-63 or an MS-64 MS or an MS-61. And they'd sit there and argue and argue and argue. And then they realized somebody had the bright idea. You know what? Maybe a third party needs to settle this argument. And while we're at it, we'll put it in this plastic holder so that the coin will be preserved and we'll kill two birds with one stone. And these old PCGS uh, coin grading holders and AKA slabs were invented. And so uh, around the beginning of the, the that whole process, I'm gonna start this one at 120. If anybody's interested, 120 is the start price. And if I would go to a coin shop conservatively, these start at around 150 and they go up to, gosh, you know, you name it, you name the price. Starting bids 120 or else I'll just throw it back in my collection. And just, mm -hmm. I thought, well, let me see if anybody else um, uh, appreciates the old uh, Rattlers as much as I do. And so I thought I'd throw it out there. So. 120 is the starting bid, and as you guys are considering that, I will look for something else that you might be interested in. Hmm, here's something. Mm -hmm. Oh, doggone it. It's not going back in my collection, Mrs. T. 
Steve S is at 120. Mm -hmm. Steve S is at 120 on the old Rattler, Morgan Dollar, MS63. And yeah, that is bargain basement prices. Again, usually 150, 160. Um, some mm -hmm. of you uh, like Fasikas who uh, are constantly at coin sh shows know, yeah, like 150 is kind of the norm for these guys to start at. Mm -hmm. If you can find them, yeah. If you can find them, which is not easy. All right, we're looking at Steve S at 120, and I was kind of hoping there might be a little bidding war or something like that. But Steve S, you've got an eye, and I'm going to say go on one time. And uh, hey, Steve S, thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's uh, it's been a heck of a long journey, but it's been a lot of fun along the way. And the fun continues up, up, and away from here, hopefully, God willing. Vasikas is at 125. Uh, Steve S., you're out now. Vasikas, oh, no, you're not. Bumps it up. And so, yep, uh, there's a couple folks that uh, appreciate the old Rattlers. Mm -hmm. They are nice. Uh, they're, I, I just mm -hmm. like the history that they represent. Mm hmm. Long live coins. Hey, thank you, thank you very much. Where's that bell? Yeah. Thank you, LLC. Appreciate it. And uh, thanks for being a part of the journey, my friend. And thank you for that uh, nice consideration. Steve S. is at 140 on the old Rattler. And we're getting closer to where I thought it might be. So thank you guys for your bids. Let's see who takes it. We've got a battle of uh, two serious coin collectors here, Steve and Fasikas. Let's see who wins his battles. Uh, mm -hmm. Fasikas is at 150. Fasikas is at 150. Let's see where she lands. And appreciate you guys. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, and it's been a lot. It's been fun, you mm -hmm. know, this whole um, experience. Yeah, and mm -hmm. yeah, big part of it is the fact that the lady to my left, uh, Mrs. T, has uh, supported me uh, along the way. At first, when she saw me going down to the basement to make videos, she, I think she kind of wondered, is this guy crazy or what? And then she realized I was <laughs> gaining some traction and, uh, you know, gaining some followers and um, and some respect around the community. And well, then, I followed you right away. Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> then it just kind of took off. Steve S. at 155 going one time. Yeah. Uh, and Steve S at 155 is in the lead, and yeah, the rest is history. And uh, Tuli Tuli jumped in, and tell you what, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, Tuli Tuli uh, for sure. Uh, I, if if I was just trying to do this myself, uh, I don't think it would have worked even six months, to be honest with you. Uh, going two times to Steve S at 155. And I'm typing out S O L D. Uh, hey, thank you, David. Much appreciated, my friend. And I'm saying going once, going twice, and so 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 to the S at 155. Thank you very much. Uh, and Fasikas, thank you for your uh, bidding and consideration. Steve S takes it at 155. Nice yeah. buy there, my friend. Nice buy. Matter of fact, That's I'm nice. going to go to that coin show tomorrow. I'll be on the hunt for those. Uh, that happened to be a year I already had, by the way, in case you're wondering. I'll be looking for A, some years I don't have, or B, maybe a good deal here or there to share with our friends here. And how about just some straight up Canadian silver? There you go. This is the new one, 2024. You got Chuck right there. And let's flip him around. Let's go to the maple leaf there and for a dollar where else can you have a buck and go on a canadian fine silver 9999 they had to add that extra nine just to be a little bit extra as my daughters would say <laughs> why do they have to be so extra 9999 nine, four nine fine silver uh james is at 28 and that's where we're at right now. That's a high bid on the Canadian Maple Leaf. Uh, B Soldier is at 29. And let's see where she lands. Let's see if she hits 30. 
or what? And Mrs. C, let's see, we still have over 50 people here. We passed the two hour mark, uh, getting ready for another giveaway in just a little while. I've got a couple little odds and ends that you guys might like. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Should we do another one of these, Mrs. C? I don't like this one. All right, we're looking at Eric at 30. Uh, what's that bar? Oh, I'll do that next for you, Jay. All right, going one time. Going two times. Who's in the lead? Eric? Two times, yes. Eric. See if anybody else jumps in at the end here. Well, let's see if there's any. There hasn't been a snipe in a while, has there, Mrs. T? No. Going once. Going twice. Where's our H? And he likes the vintage. So, so, so. To Eric and 30 bucks. Here you go, Mrs. Mm -hmm. T. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. And we'll throw up. Oh, I like the way this, even though it's one ounce, just the, the size of it, the kind of little chunkiness of it. This is Prospectors, Gold and Gems. I actually met the guy who uh, mints these at uh, the Coin Show in St. Louis. I, if I remember correctly, he's from Colorado. I could be wrong on that, but a uh, real nice guy. And uh, he was uh, generous enough with his time, right in the middle of a coin show, to make a video with me. He was kind of touting... Um, uh, those gold backs, but uh, after he gave me like a 10 minute talk on gold backs, I'm like, ah, let me have that silver down there. <laughs> I bought silver from him. Like, uh, all right, buck and go on the nice little ounce of silver. It's a little, each one of these is a little bit different. That's kind of what I like about them. Each one has a little bit of character. And uh, yeah, the gold back craze has kind of died down just a little bit, I think. I don't know. Are any of you guys gold back fanatics? Um, if so, maybe I'll keep an eye out for some. I don't actively look for gold backs, to be honest with you. Uh, but man, he went on and on and on about the benefits of gold backs. Remember that one, mm -hmm. Mrs. T? Yeah, I remember. And uh, <laughs> I thought he, I think he thought I was going to buy a bunch of gold backs. I'm like, ah, well, give me the silver. Yeah. <laughs> Like out of nowhere, yeah. his jaw kind of dropped a little. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, but uh, anyway, one try ounce of interesting silver there. Jay's at 33. Yeah, thank you, Jay. Yeah, and got six pack says just for kind of for the novelty of it. Kind of, I'm saying I've got a few. Uh, so I think most of the ones that I have were given to me. And I think I have like one of each variety of the Wyoming, the the various states that do gold backs, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I can't remember ever going out of my way to buy them. Uh, no IQ is at 35 going one time. No IQ is at 35 going two times on the little one ounce silver piece, chunky little piece going once. Oh, twiddle twaddle bumps it up to 37. It's a nice little bar, I can tell you that. I don't yes. know, for some reason, it feels like heavier than a, uh, maybe just the shape and the fact that it's compact makes it feel a little bit heavier than an ounce. Mm -hmm. But it is. Uh, we're going twiddle at 37 going one time. Twiddle at 37 going two times. Twiddle, twiddle. And sold, sold, sold. Twiddle, twiddle. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, let's see. Native American piece right here. Sovereign Nation of the Chickasaw. Chick Where is Chickasaw from? Is that Ohio? Chickasaw Nation? Let's see here. Maybe that we'll get the Great Seal of the Chickasaw Nation. We got a warrior on this side. Kind of has a dad bod like me, Mrs. T. <laughs> He's not sporting the abs. <laughs> uh, and it looks like they're doing a, maybe some kind of dugout, something or other. Maybe a canoe? Yeah, maybe a, a, one of those uh, dugout canoes. That they burn out a little bit. Chickasaw Nation. Uh, oh, by the way, this is number one. It says 1974 on it. And I keep forgetting... And there's a serial number there, and it does say 999FS, but what I don't know is the weight, and I want to say it's like 75% of an ounce or something like that, 
It's not a full ounce. So fair warning, uh, you're you're getting it for the 1974 vintage factor and uh, and the silver, but it's a little less than an ounce. Uh, full disclosure, I, I, man, I didn't go down and grab my scale. So buck and go though, the warrior featured on the seal represents the Chickasaw leader, Tishominko, who is remembered as one of the last traditional leaders of the Chickasaws. All right, so is is that Ohio? Was my guess correct? Was my guess correct? Where is Chickasaw from? Henry Hicks likes his fractional, and he's at $12. Mm -hmm. uh, Long Live Coins is at 20 And let's see. Yeah, 0.82 ounce, six pack. Uh, that sounds about right the weight in the hand felt like less than an ounce but uh ghost is a 21. Rick Hayes says Oklahoma. Oklahoma okay just south of Okie City got it ghost a 21 uh kind of a cool piece for 21 dollars uh originally from RH the human computer says originally from Mississippi Alabama Tennessee Kentucky so the center of uh the country here, the Midwest. Uh, six pack got his Apache today. Oh, you're welcome, my friend. And wow, that's a good price. 21 okay. on the Chickasaws. And I'm going to go two times to Ghost at 21. Yeah. Oh, B Soldier bumps it up. And so a uh, Ghost, you're out. Long live coins at 23. Got a little battle going on for the Native American piece. Do you have another Apache? Uh, no more Apaches. Nick M was asking. Uh, no more Apaches. I do have another one here. Navajo. Navajo. Got the Navajo. Uh, let's see. Going one time. So now LLC going. Oh, B Soldiers at 26. They're starting to wake up on the, the Chickasaw Nation here. And let's see. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's a little bit better focus. All right, here we go. Going one time. Going two times. And that's a pretty good price. Going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. He sold you. I think you got a nice little piece there. Nice and let's see if you want to put that in a flip. And uh, we might as well throw out uh, the Navajo as well. I know that's from the Southwest. Looks like a couple of Navajo. Uh, well, that looks like, you know, this is the way it should be, Mrs. T. Mm -hmm. The Navajo woman is working and the Navajo man is in the background. Looks like he's smoking or something like that. So oh, really? put, putting a, putting a lady to work and mm -hmm. having a little smoke in the background there, you know, maybe oh, that's yeah. life was good back then. The men were out hunting and fishing, and uh, the ladies were working, working, doing all the work. Great seal of the Navajo. Try I think we just lost all of our female bidders, yeah. Mrs. C. And uh, it's getting late before you um, <laughs> you want to make it to the end of this auction. Oh, oh, oh. all right, buck and go <laughs> before I get well, whomped or scalped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> buck and go and. Yo. Here you go. You could look in this mirror-like finish and maybe see my head getting scalped. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're making a blanket there, weaving. Mm -hmm. So if you know anybody who does weaving or, I don't know, knitting or anything like that, they might appreciate this one. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You know, okay. you know, we could screenshot this, Rick K, and, uh, you know, <laughs> Twiddle Twaddle is at 27 going one time. <laughs> yeah, it's a cheap price. Twiddle Twaddle at 27 going two times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and... Twiddle. Oh, Central Michigan is at 28. Phil's at 28. Twiddle Twaddle's at 30. And Tuli Tuli is asking if Rick K is just making all of this up. She's doubting that he's even married. Hey. And 
but she calls him Ricky. Oh, Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> she can't even type right. She's so upset about this whole thing. Are you married? <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go <laughs> 36 years oh wow oh, there's wow. the answer right there we should have a a uh, you know we should have a meet up at kevin hunt's yeah. uh place and just tell jokes and hang out you know yeah. all right mm -hmm. and we can meet rick k's wife and ask her if she approves of him uh <laughs> going once going twice and sold 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 <laughs> Ooh, it? Twiddle, twiddle. Yeah. All right, congratulations. And Mrs. T, let's put this in a nice little flip okay. for Twiddle Twaddle. Okay. All right, let's see. We're over two hours. Uh, Tuli, Tuli, you doing okay? We'll do that giveaway in just a moment. Uh, let's see. So is Tennessee winning? Because she said that Tennessee's making her nervous. Oh, Tennessee winning yeah. or losing? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, you have Tennessee to win the whole thing. They <laughs> better be winning. All right, I'll tell you what. We're going to do one more auction. And then we're going to do a major giveaway. And Tuli Tuli says she's good to go if we okay. want to continue. And, ooh, 56 ooh, 55. How much game. time left, Tuli Tuli? What a game. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, we'll throw this out there. I like, I, this is the last one of these little leopards. Mm -hmm. And oh boy, 24 seconds left, and it's a one point game. Might have to pause just to watch that, Mrs. <laughs> T. Let's see here. I wonder if we're gonna get busted. Uh, let's see here. No. Well, you have um, this one here going. All right, buck and go on the leopard as I look for the game and see. Maybe I could show it to you guys live. Tennessee. <sighs> there we go. Oh boy. Tennessee's up. That you, don't, you don't have anyone. Oh, okay. Tennessee's up by a point. Oh, by two points now. With 24 seconds to go. All right. Uh, where are we at now on the leopard? The leopard. You got the kitty cat here. Tiger's still around. 999 find silver. Tiger, you still driving? This is from no, 1980. No, he said he finally got into his comfy chair. Oh, comfy chair? Mm-hmm. This one looks, I thought the other one, had, this is 1974. I thought the other one had a different eagle, Mrs. T. Oh. So this has an eagle on a shield. The other one okay. had an like a screaming eagle. So this one's totally different than the first one. Oh. And here we go. You got the leopard. It's got little spots on it. And it's a big, strong cat there. Kitty cat, last one of the night. Then we're going to do a big gaw. And let's see. I know there's some cat lovers around. Uh, is Kevin still around? Tiger still around? Here we go. Are you sure? What's that, Mrs. C? Because that's a little one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at. Oh, uh, let okay. me show you the old, the first one I ran. How much mm -hmm. did that one go for, by the way? It went for 38. Mm -hmm. That's the back of that one. That one's already been sold. But this one. Uh, his has mm -hmm. like an eagle on a shield, 1974. Oh, okay. And ooh, 26. I would have kept it at that. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, 27 to Henry Hicks. I mean, that's a cool looking round there. Mm -hmm. 1974. Cool looking leopard. Man. Wow. All right. This definitely. Uh, oh, medley corrupted just in time for the last one. Mm -hmm. And uh, James is at 28. And let's see. Let me take another drink of water. Let's see these guys battle it out. This should definitely be like 35 or 36 on this one. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Tennessee. Mrs. T had Tennessee. Yeah, this is the last one of the night. Uh, Tuli Tuli at two hours and 20 minutes. And I'm gonna say twiddle twaddle at 30. Oh, bargain mm -hmm. time. Going one time. I think everybody spent all their loot, Mrs. T. Yeah. And we're gonna say twiddle twaddle at 30 going two times. Henry's at 31. Oh, Henry bumps it up. It's a cool piece, I'm telling you. It is. Uh, twiddle twaddle's at 33 as Tennessee seals the game. So that's over. They're up by five points now. 
and we're all good in that front. Mrs. T, your bracket is still intact. It didn't blow up yet? No, it didn't blow up. If Tennessee yeah. lost, it would have blown up. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the heads up, Tuli Tuli. A twiddle twaddle of 33 going one time, and then we're going to give away all of that paper currency. Oh, gosh. Someone's gonna and look you know what we could do? I got an idea for that. Oh. Uh, going two times, a twiddle twaddle. Going once. Going twice. And so, oh, since I don't have my phone ready, going once, going twice, and sold, sold, sold. We're going to have to clap by hand, Mrs. Yay. T. Yay. Okay, there so we clap. go. All right, All here right. we go. Sold, sold, sold. Last one goes to Twiddle Twaddle. All right. All right, Mrs. T? Yes. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let me zoom out. As promised, we are going to give away this. Can you get it here? They call it yes. Fed Shreds. Okay. And then Andy over at ARI uh, said that if anybody finds like a line that has a thousand oh or ten thousand or something like that, that there would be a huge cash reward. <laughs> uh, we should, you know, what we should do. That's tiny. We should give this away with a roll of scotch tape so people can tape these bills together. What do you think? <laughs> I don't <laughs> oh know. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, either that or give it away with a pair of glasses uh, so they could. Uh... Yeah, it almost oh, no. looks like something illegal sitting there. Uh, I assure you, it's just shredded up paper currency. Let me get that question. Where's the last question right of the night? All right. Here we go. Make sure you do your commercial. Oh, my commercial. Uh, you know what? Uh, you let's that? skip yeah, that commercial. Because okay, the question itself okay, so is actually a commercial. Oh, okay. Let me put this here. We'll put this. We'll cover the clock. The controversial clock there. And here's <laughs> the question. Right. All right. I'm looking for a particular answer. It's either yes or no. <laughs> Will you join me on mm -hmm. my whatnot? Oops. Oops. On Monday at 7.15, there's a, can only be one winner. And the question is, will you join me on my whatnot? Uh, and the answer hopefully was yes. Let's see who answered first and we'll get that big bag of money. Let's see who was first, guys. Uh, let's see. Rick Case said, okay, figures. Thank you. Thank you. 31, 33, Henry. I'm scrolling down. Go Tennessee. Yeah. Sold. They're killing me. Go Fools. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And who is the first? RH. RH says yes. Mm -hmm. So RH, I'm expecting you and everybody else who said yes to join me just in a couple nights from now, Monday night, 715. It's pretty much the same format, me telling jokes and talking and educating and BSing with you guys and Mrs. T and Tuli Tuli uh, and Tuli Tuli. I hope you can make it. I, we didn't even talk about this, but hopefully you can make it. I don't do the timer that Whatnot has. By the way, congratulations, Too RH. Yeah. Um, the Whatnot has the timer built in and it's kind of cool when it gets down to under 10 seconds. Whenever there's another bid, it bumps up another 10 seconds to give you a chance and from there it goes and it goes by fast and we get through a lot of material uh, but it's also a good time and i'll of course pause and talk and chat and uh if rick k comes and starts uh cutting up and joking around that will enhance the experience for everyone guys thank you for another fun auction and uh yes. tuli tuli thank you so much and thank let's you, see let you. me find my sound effect here because i got off of it yeah. Uh, oh, sound effects. No. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Everybody, let's hear it for Tuli Tuli. Oh, yeah. it would also help if I didn't have it on mute. Tuli Tuli, everybody. Yay. Thanks for being here. And so, oh gosh, almost two and a half hours. I have to admit, it does go by fast as I'm talking and showing you guys coins and rounds and talking history and everything else. It is a pleasure to hang out with you guys whenever we get the chance tonight, Saturday night. Uh, Tuli Tuli, we'll check on uh, next week uh, when we do it. Uh, but for now, plan to tune in 
Tuesday night. Uh, and by the way, if you're new to whatnot and you haven't signed up yet, use my link. Uh, it's in the video description. You receive fifteen dollars uh, free stuff, so you could buy a you know thirty dollar piece and pay only fifteen dollars for it. And um, and then I get a little kickback too. So uh, use my link. Uh, I don't know. We had it floating around somewhere. Maybe I can find it. Check it up. Tuli, oh, Tuli. Yeah. Boom. Right there. Thank you, Tuli. Tuli. That's why you are the best. Guys, thank you. Good night. God bless. Go UConn. Good night, Tuli. Tuli.